Greetings, this is Michael Speth. I am the lead developer of Keyboarding Master and today I'm going to discuss the latest release version 0.4.0 .0 of Keyboarding Master. In this release there are several new changes. The first we'll talk about is the Razer Tartarus gaming keyboard. So when you install the new version, if you have a Tartarus, uh, you can add the device there it is, Tartarus pardon my pronunciation if it's incorrect uh, one thing you'll notice is there is a buy option so if you click on buy it will open up a web browser and take you to the web page to buy it so if you haven't bought a Tartarus and you are interested just click on buy as of March 17, 2015, it's around 66 US dollars. So that would, it really benefits the development of Keyboarding Master if you can use these Amazon associate links. So we get a percentage of the purchase price. Anyways, let's go. So I've actually created uh, a configuration already. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on configure. So there we are, the Tataris. All right. So what works with the Tataris is all of the uh, keypad, uh, all the all of the keys, as well as the uh, other additional hat and these two keys. Uh, what doesn't work, and that's the same with the Razer Nostromo, is the LED lights. Uh, for the profiles as well as controlling the LED backlighting. In the Synapse 2.0 of Razer software you can control the light intensity, maybe even the color. Um, I know some other devices you can change color. I'm not sure about the Tatara so I haven't looked at it. But the light intensity um, and when you switch profiles in the Synapse the lights indicate what profile you're on. Unfortunately that currently does not work with Keyboarding Master. A couple of years ago with the Razer Nostromo I tried to get that to work um, and I emailed Razer about it asking them if they can provide any engineering details about the protocol used to control the LEDs and the, their official response was they're unable to provide protocol level information to third parties. So sort of has to be trial and error. I'm not sure if it's possible. Um, but anyways, there is a a JIRA issue uh, to investigate the issue once again. It would be really nice if we could integrate that in Keyboarding Master. Uh, it would make it would pretty much have the same functionality as Razer's software for Windows. So that would be ideal in Linux. Um, I'm not going to go through how to configure stuff uh, I do want to point out the display key map. So there is a new uh, menu layout. Now you can click through all of your key maps. Before it was only one key map. So if we switch to key map 2, it also will automatically switch to key map 2, which is cool, but you can refer back to key map 1. That's all I want to show there. And then there's a new button on the device menu called details. So you need to click on whatever device you're interested in, click on details, and here you'll see the profile name, so dual mode. The type of profile is from game, and the app is called Dying Light. You'll see the icons here, so that shows you that it's a Taurus icon, this is um, Dying Light icon, and then Techland is the, pub is the game developer or publisher, I'm not sure which, maybe the developer and publisher. Um, and then any details that you that you put in about the profile go here. And then just like in the configuration menu when you click on the key map button you'll see all of your key maps. Um, just talking a little bit, bit about Dying Light, I've been playing that quite a bit um, thanks to the same day Linux release. I know that there has been some performance issues when it first was released but it's a lot better now especially if you have a GeForce 960 and up. Um, I play it uh, quite fluidly. Um, 
Anyways, this key map is designed for having actions and menus. So the action basically allows you to stay on the primary key map um, for any time you're battling zombies or running around the world needing to grapple and whatnot. If you want to use your menu system, it has a key map toggle. Well, when held, so if you're you're holding down the um, key map button, which is this one, then it switches to key map one. And of course, when you release that button, it switches back to key map one. So it switches from key map one to key map two, and then back to key map one. And this is just for your menus. So it opens up your map, quest menu, inventory, skill menu. And then upgrading weapons, I found, is uh, there's a shortcut for that. So when you're in your inventory system, if, we if a weapon can be upgraded, likewise you can um, drop or dismantle with Z. There's also Z here, so it's your choice if you want to use either Z. Same with uh, brief continuation versus uh, brief declining T is also here for flashlight. So anyways, that's that's the key map. I really like it. I think that's all I really want to say about this release. Uh, please download it. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the YouTube video below or check out the Google Plus video. Thanks. Bye.